What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a part two video of a previous video I did. Um, if you remember the video I did on when I installed the fog lights, um, I put new fog lights, LED fog lights on my truck. And one of those, um, I didn't get to videotape it or record it because the camera that I was using, the battery died. Uh, but what happened was, as here's the female connector, here's the male. This part's on the fog light, this is on the truck wire harness. The pin the pins on the inside, the silver part you see on the truck wiring harness one of those pins was corroded and what happened to my other fog light is uh the male pin that's inside here actually broke off inside which is why the fog light didn't work i didn't know that time so i just ordered new fog lights and put them on there I'm pretty sure that the fog light that I took off, all I have to do is put new connectors on them and they will work just fine. Um, and that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you guys how to basically splice a wire, two wires together to put this connector on. I know some of you old timers out there know how to do this. This is basically for the new guy um, to do simple, basic, wire fixes on your truck, you know, because it's inevitable. You're gonna have wire problems. And, you know, if you have the equipment, which I do, uh, if you have the splicing kits, you know, that you put on here, um, and if you have your basic wiring tools, um, you could do it yourself, save you a lot of money, save a lot of wait time at a dealership to get it fixed. Even if it's under warranty, even if it's under warranty, you can save yourself a lot of time because time is money out here as drivers. The longer we sit at, at a dealership waiting to get fixed, the more money we're losing. So this should only take about 15 minutes to or 15, 30 minutes to fix. And then you're good to go. Instead of waiting six, seven, eight hours, even a day to get into a Peterbilt dealership, get it fixed, it's not worth it. Fix it yourself. And it's very easy to fix, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, stay tuned. Let's get right to it. All right, so once you cut it, <clears throat> then you gotta strip the wire. Like so. And then put one of your splicers in there. And then crimp it down. So it's nice tight. I don't have my torch with me, but just get a lighter. And then melt it. And then do the same on the fog light.
Okay, so I cut the blue one. I always like to do the one that's opposite. Just so I make sure I get them in the right one. Might have cut that one a little too long. Stick it in there. Here's the crimper. Send out it. That's all you got to do. How you doing? Easy, easy. Alright, well, I shot this video a few days ago, and I was going, I'm back there editing now, as you can probably see right there, and I didn't do an outro, so here I am. But if you like this video, I hope it's educational for you, especially you new drivers, okay? If you carry the right tools, which I put a link right here to my tool video that shows you the wire connector kit with the butt connectors in it. If you carry the right tools on your trucks, and if you're, and if you're just a little bit mechanically inclined on how to fix things, sorry, I keep looking over here, but the camera's over here. Um, Duh. Um, you can fix there's a lot of things on the trucks that will go wrong that you can fix yourself and save you a lot of time and money you know because if you go to these dealerships I don't know how Freightliner dealerships are or International or Volvo well I mean I hear say I can only speak for uh, Peterbilt because I drive a Peterbilt dealerships and I'm sure it's the same as all the other dealerships, the waiting times. You could wait hours to get in, or if they're so busy, you can wait a day, two days, even a freaking week. Some of these dealerships are backed up a week and a half, you know? So, if it's a wiring issue, don't waste time going to a dealership. Fix it yourself. If you have, all you need is a wire cutter, wire splicer to, to, to take the plastic or the silicone or rubber whatever the wire is made out of to take that off so you can expose the bare wire put it in a butt, butt connector the right size crimp it have a crimping tool and then uh, especially get the you know it's better to get the marine grade 
butt connectors because they have uh, glue on the inside. So when you heat it up with a torch or a lighter, it seals it so no water can get in there. Okay. But yeah, watch that tool video. Keep the basic tools on your truck. Now, this is not my truck. I'm doing a regular lease on this truck. The next truck I get is going to be, I will do an ace lease if they open the ace lease back up. Um, so there are some things that I won't do on this truck that I did on the other truck because it's not my truck. But wiring connections, you know, replacing a sensor that's on the outside of the engine, you know, sometimes it's better to just go buy the part and uh, turn your receipt in and hopefully Prime pays you for it. If not, it still saves you money because you go to the dealership, you get the part, you put it on yourself, you don't have to wait. You're back on the road 30 minutes or whatever, you know? So that's why I did this video to show the new drivers. So you old timers that have experience probably already know all this. But this is just for my new driver series on how to fix a wire. So, of course, in, in this video, not only did I show how to fix a wire, it's the same principle. I showed how to connect a different style connector. Re take the old connector off and replace it. And the reason why I had to do this on this truck is because Peterbilt does not sell that connector by itself. I tried looking for it, I couldn't find it. So I just put another style connector on it and had to, had to do the same thing on the fog light side of it so they would connect together. So anyway, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.